so I just got off of work and I have the most fun experiment ahead of me. I feel like a scientist. Issa told me to do it on the vlog rather than um, the Instagram, so let's just say it's um, including a uh, that. All right, so don't mind this angle. You are on my window at this moment in time, but guess what we are doing today? We are gonna make coffee, but we're gonna try and make it exactly like Starbucks makes it, which is why we have this. So for those of you who don't know, I work at Starbucks and I have been wanting an espresso machine for like two years maybe, that's four, but peace. Uh, <laughs> but so, I've been wanting an espresso machine for so long. I specifically want the Brazil, and I wanted the $700 one, but now that like I'm more of a coffee person, years later, three years later, um, I really want the, the $3,000 one, and like that's just not realistic, and that's really not saving me any money because, unless like I still drink coffee years later, hopefully I do, I love coffee so much. It would take like years to pay off and like actually make like, I don't like when people are down here. It's okay, we're leaving, it's okay. I'm an awkward taco. <laughs> so, um, sorry, I'm an awkward little bean and I had to stop because my mom was in here and I just like, she always laughs when I'm making videos and I just get like an awkward little bean as I said. Or a little awkward taco. I don't know why that came out earlier, but yeah. And I had to pee, so. So, back to the stuff. Okay, I don't know what that was, but then. Yeah, so it would take forever to pay off. And this thing called, I'll show you, the AeroPress. Um, it's $30, you can get it from Target. I tried it yesterday and I wasn't a huge fan of how it turned out, but I think that's cause like, I let my shots die. I was trying to clean everything up just to like, de-stress my mother and to, just in case if I wanted to take this back if I didn't like it and want like water spots to be on there and gross stuff. And I totally wasn't thinking because it's not an espresso machine that my shots would die, which they totally will. So I don't think that that was like true result of how this machine works or thing. It's not really a machine. And I didn't like the almond milk I used because my mouth tastes really dry afterwards. And so I was like, Ugh. so I wanted to try this experiment. So this experiment is I just got back from work, as I mentioned, and I made myself my normal iced almond milk latte with blonde shots. I usually do blonde ristretto because that's just my go-to and I like it. But since I can't do ristretto with this because it's just a tube, um, I just did blonde on this just so it can be like as equal as possible. Also, I'm sorry if I'm wasting a plastic, but I just wanted this experiment to work exactly like perfect and I wanted all the measurements to be correct and since I was at work I didn't have a cup and I'll use cups because of or personal cups because of the virus going around right now. So, yeah, so I have my Starbucks almond milk filled to the top line where we usually put it. Um, like after the shots though, which is like the only thing that was skewed a little bit. So, uh, she's back. My awkward little bean mesh. Get away. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> It's just because you smile at me and you're like, oh, you're so cute, and then I get like awkward. Did I say you were cute? No, but you said that in a passion. And I'm like, what are you smiling at? And you're like, you're just cute. I did the same thing to you. You're like, what are you smiling at? I'm like, you're just adorable. Oh, that was sexy. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So this is a little skewed because there's no espresso in here yet, and normally the espresso is at the bottom, and then we fill it up to the black line after but so I just decided to fill this one up a little above that black line when doing it before I left work so I'm gonna put this in the fridge right now just so it like stays fresher because I don't want it to get more watered down and then I also have Starbucks ice so it is legit the exact same thing so let's get to it <laughs> I don't even know the renegade. So first things first, I'm gonna start 
Boiling some aqua. Boom, boom, boom. Also, no judge that because I don't know what that was. Filtered water. Got my cute little shot glass. I am making messes all over the counter. At least it's just water. One. Two. Okay. Now, we bring it over to the stove. So, I'm gonna turn it on like more of like a simmer because I don't want it to be like boiling, boiling. It just needs to be hot. Because when you're hot and you go get the beans, <gasps> gonna go get the beans. Also, blonde espresso. I would literally look like a homeless person right now because I'm a wreck. My f look at, do you see this hair? Like, what even is she? Let's fix me up a tad bit at least. Okay, well. Ooh, who even is she? Okay. Oh, my hair kind of looks like, what the? My hair wasn't even curled. My hair does this a lot. It legit looks like I curled it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, put it back up. Cool. Can you tell I've already had enough coffee for the night? Whenever I work, I drink way too much coffee. The customers think I'm insane and so do my coworkers. They can vouch for that. But I am a little psychotic. That could've been bad, but it didn't break. I wish my face was in this. Like I wish I didn't have to like go so far back or like crouch down. Like it's getting, <coughs> I think I just inhaled beans. Definitely just like inhaled beans and like puffed up. So what I'm doing is I'm doing two scoops and then I'm filling my water up to the two lines so it's like two shots. So this is Starbucks espresso, blonde espresso. So oh my gosh, there's a fuzz. Okay. So one. <laughs> I'm a little bean. Got my water. Alrighty. So I have this sitting on top of my cup. And as you can see right here, I level it out. Okay, and you can see like one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna fill my water up to the two line, but I have to have it facing me or else it'll fail. Okay, this is where it gets stressful, folks. Stressful. Bring it back here so you can see. Okay, I'm supposed to stir one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And ready? It's so hard. I'm like gonna die. It's because the pressure of <laughs> The steaming water <laughs> doesn't like this very much. I did it. Okay, so it's at the stop point. I'm just gonna put this back in here. So at this moment in time, this is what it looks like. Kinda looks like um a caramel macchiato for those of you who drink those, just because the shots are on top, but it's not. Okay, time to go get my eyes. My eyes, my eyes. Okay. Beautiful. Now I lit it. I'm gonna shake it around. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this, cause I'm cool. So I can kind of tell the difference in the color. I have an A for arrow, Press and I have S for Starbucks. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. All right, and now, hmm, how am I gonna mix them up without me remembering? I'm just gonna like kind of go away. I don't really know. I already wow. Okay, like I know this may sound really stupid, and I should have put the straws in before, but I already don't remember which one is which. 
though. But, yeah, because I like when I went like that, whatever it was, I don't remember what happened after that. Okay, so I put should have put the straws in first. So let's at least see where the straws are. In that pack. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna. Oh, I did it. Ooh. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna do like, so you can see me, I'm gonna do like two laps, okay? I don't know why I said it's run, but I said it's run. Okay, so. I have no idea which one's which. I'm not gonna pick them up because I can tell with the ice amount. So I'm just gonna try it and see what they taste like and see if I can tell which one's which. I'm really nervous. Wait, I'm gonna go on my knees again so you can see me. Oh, but then I can't reach. I'm just gonna do a squat position, working out while I was drinking coffee, okay. I already know which one it is. Wait, I thought I did. I'm gonna get water. I think it's right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna drink this water right now to clear my palate. And we're gonna try the right one again and then the left one again. But in between, I'm gonna sip some water. I thought I knew which one, which one was which, but they both taste so good. I couldn't even tell. At first, I thought I could, but then I drank the second one and I was like, wait. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> really hard okay I don't know they taste the same this is crazy you legit can make $30 coffee or a $30 aeropress espresso and have it taste the same as like thousands of dollars espresso machine. This is like insane. My mind is blown. Okay. Well, based on the ice, I think that this one's Starbucks and this one's homemade, but I'm just going to say my first opinion. I think this one was the homemade one and this one's Starbucks. Um, I'm about to open my eyes and see and I'm kind of really nervous. So they basically taste the same. The only difference is, is that this one tastes stronger. This one doesn't taste as strong, but this one tastes stronger. Don't know why, but let's see what it is. Ah, oh, I was wrong. I was right at first. This one is the homemade one. This one is the Starbucks one. Um, you can tell that it's stronger just because of how dark it is compared to this, but let's just, yeah, Starbucks. It says S at the bottom if you can see, and you can see <laughs> Aerosmith, but they legit tasted like so similar. I couldn't even tell the difference. This is like crazy to me. I would probably either do because I like my coffee strong, strong. <laughs> okay, um, so I probably next time would do more espresso beans in here or less water. I would probably just do like, I just burped. Wow, I burped again. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> so, according to my calculations, $30, thousands of dollars. Why am I talking like this? I'm so freaking annoying. I can't help myself. Okay. I think that the Aeros, I keep wanting to call it an Aerosmith. But so the Aeropress $30 plastic little dealio legit works. Like, so well. And let me show you how cool this cleaning mechanism is. All right. 
<laughs> we are so close to the trash can. You can see what I buy. Well, my mom buys that. That's bread. I can't eat that gluten free. But that's from my avocados. Avocado free shavakado. And this is from uh, Paper Towels. By the way, going on a rant really quick. Oh, you're not going to die from the coronavirus. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to end it there. Let's just say it's um basically like the common flu, except everyone's just freaking out because it's unheard of and we don't really know how it came about. But like, yeah, I don't need to go and buy 50 rolls of toilet paper and 50 rolls of paper towels. You're not going to die. You're not going to be stuck in your house. And if anything, you can legit, like, come on, people. Just use towels. If we're stuck dead, or not dead, but you can't go outside, like, use towel. Like we do with babies. You wash it in the washer. And there you go. It's not that big of a deal. Like, we're not going to die. You don't need to buy every single supply in Target or in Costco. Like, we're going to be fine. Like, we're not going to run out of water. Get yourself a Brita. Fill it up with the sink. And you got an endless supply of water. Okay, unless it gets in our water. Then, uh, then I don't think the filter would filter the bacteria. But yeah, I get the point, okay? We're not going to die. It's like the common flu. I'm done. That's it. Okay, back to showing you about my airbrow press. So this is legit how you clean it. It's the easiest thing. You take this out and ready. Just like an espresso machine, how you have your chips. Well, you have your chip here. It stays in a block. Like, if you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. It stays in a block and legit. You just go tap, tap, and it's all gone. Well, there we go. Now it's all gone. It's That's literally the easiest thing you need to do. Like, bam. And then you go like this. You slide this thing off. Take the filter off. And you wash it. Like, this is literally the easiest machine to use. I don't even know why I'm calling it a machine because it's not really a machine. But, like, come on, people. It's easy. Like, ta-da. That's all you got. And you got your nice, fresh, home-brewed coffee. Heck to the yeah, baby! <laughs> okay. So, I hope you liked this review. And, um... I hoped you liked my ranting. So, yeah, I'm just gonna end it here. I highly recommend getting it. This isn't sponsored, by the way, because I'm not famous. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> my hair's in, in the mouth. <laughs> but yeah, so I highly recommend getting it. $30, coffee at home, so much cheaper, and just as good. Mm.